Oh my god, it's so powerful. Oh boy. Oh, it's it's too much. It's too much. It, okay, we're okay. We're oh boy. Oh, it lags so much. Oh god. Oh god. It's not the game is not meant to have this many magnets. Oh, we're probably gonna crash. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back of course with yet another scripted mod. There are so many cool mods now on the workshop that uh, just add a lot of function to the game. I don't really care so much for mods that just add different parts because you know, parts are whatever, you know, they're aesthetic and everything else, and I'm not really big on aesthetics, but adding functions to the game is fantastic. Like the wing mod and the destructible parts mod, both adding the ability to break stuff and to fly is really, really awesome. And today we're back with another popular mod that you guys may or may not have seen, and it is, of course, the magnet mod. And, well, actually, the electromagnet mod, and all it does is add one block to the game, and that's this block. Looks like a logic gate, has a little magnet symbol on it, and if we click it, we can switch it between north and south. And all it does is attract or repel other magnets. So if we put a magnet here, and uh, both magnets actually have to be turned on, like an actual electromagnet, so you have to give them a logic symbol. So there we go, we've got that. And uh, if we switch this one to north, and then we press north, you can see there it repels that magnet away. And if we put this one on north, and we put another one here, and we'll just switch this one to south, and power it up, it should attract it, and, right, went shooting off, but you saw it move towards it first, and then it went uh, somewhere across the map, and so I thought, you know, there's a lot of cool things we can do with magnets, I thought, why not try and make a motor, I know when the potato guns came out, the spud guns, a lot of people were saying, con, you have these piston-powered engines, like this one here, right, and uh, we, we've got this one, you see if we turn it on, we've got four pistons in a line, a lot of people were saying, well, do the same thing with spud guns, have a spud gun shoot for each piston, and then that way it'll do it, but I thought, you know what, why don't we make a real electric motor? And in real life, if you actually look at electric motors, they actually use magnetism to spin. Now, an electric motor kind of does it a little bit differently. On an electric motor, they usually have one set of permanent magnets, whether or not the permanent magnet is on the part that rotates or on the outside, it depends on the type of motor. And then the second magnet isn't really a magnet, it's actually just a, a copper coil, and it's a coil of wire. And by passing electricity through the wire, you actually create a magnetic field which allows the motor to spin, and you can, you can really, if you're really interested you can look into it it's very cool uh, all the different types of motors but really they use magnetism so i thought let's make a few motors and then we'll try and test them against the piston powered engine and see which one does better now i personally think the magnets are significantly better but i haven't done any testing yet but i have made a few various magnet motors here and i've made two different types of magnet motors so i've made magnet motors that have the magnets static on the outside and they move on the inside and i've had magnets that stay static on the inside and move on the outside now i found the ones where the magnets on the inside are, are static or permanent magnets are a little bit better. You can see here on this axle, we've got a north magnet on this side and we've got a south magnet on this side. As these magnets get activated on the south, on the outside here, as you can see, this one's activated. As this north magnet is activated, it's going to attract this south magnet to it. So it's going to pull it from this side and it's going to deter this north magnet. It's going to kind of repulse this north magnet and try and push it that way. And if we activate this north magnet at the exact right time in the rotation, then we can keep that cycle going. So right now, when we turn on these two inside magnets, which are hooked up to this switch, this north one is going to get pushed up, south one's going to get pushed down, and then when this sensor bar gets blocked by this white section here, actually we'll paint that black so it's a little bit easier to see. So when this sensor bar gets blocked by this sort of L-shaped distributor pattern, then it'll switch the magnets between the top and the bottom and the whole thing will rotate. You can see just like this, it'll work, and it'll work every time. Now, it'll always rotate in the same direction, and the reason why is because of the position of this L, how that L is kind of shaped. But you can see, it actually is spinning them relatively quickly, it seems. The tires are, are moving pretty quick. They've got a fair amount of power, and the magnets on the top and the bottom, they just kind of alternate. You can see we can, we can you know, jump and get launched off, and it, it works pretty decently. But of course, I thought, well, let's add more magnets. Of course, we could easily double up the number of magnets here. We could put, you know, extra magnets on the inside that are all static and just, you know, pair them up, right? Like have another couple magnets here and do that. But I, I wanted to test just with initially some magnets. So this is the same setup over here. Uh, but instead of having the two magnets only, we have now four and a little bit different of a shape of a distributor. But we've got four sensors, four magnets on the outside, and uh, this actually, I find, it spins a little bit better. It gets up to speed a little bit faster, and you can see 
the whole platform actually wobbles less. And I think it wobbles less because there's more like balancing of the forces happening. See, it still wobbles a little bit, but not too bad. But it, it spins, it seems like to me it's spinning a little bit quicker. Again, same setup. Each magnet is pulling and pushing, and then they're all just kind of alternating around. But this seems to spin a little bit quicker. And then, of course, we've got the same setup, but with eight magnets around the outside, which means two are actually, well, actually three are active at the same time, which is just crazy. But uh, this setup seems to be the best. I mean, look at how fast that accelerates, and uh, it shakes a little bit crazy, but I think that's because it's actually spinning really, really fast. So I feel like we need to mount this eight magnet setup inside a motor assembly and actually use it as like a real electric motor and then we'll put it on a, a vehicle with some modded wheels towards the end of the episode. First, I want to show you guys what the opposite looks like. So here's an electric motor. This one's kind of cool. And instead of doing the static magnets mounted to the axle, this one actually has the static mag magnets mounted to the outside. And this is the standard configuration for most motors that you have in like model airplanes or model RC cars or all the models that I've dealt with anyways. They always have static magnets around the outside and a copper coil on the inside. When you pass the current in a certain direction, it actually creates a magnetic field, which causes the static magnets on the outside to push the axle. Again, I encourage you guys to look into this. It's really cool science and uh it's really cool to understand how magnets work i guess and how electricity can be used to create magnetism and in turn power pretty much all the electric motors you've ever seen so this one is the same thing the sensors are mounted on the beam and on each beam the sensors will trigger on these white pieces so when the sensors on the white it's north and when the sensors on the non-white sections it is south and they just flip back and forth and when you turn on these static magnets it'll actually create sort of a uh, I don't know, a, a momentum motor. Now, this thing, you have to actually kind of give it an initial velocity. If you don't give it an initial velocity, it just sits here because the forces are all equal. But as soon as we hit it, you can see it starts spinning. And the magnets there on the inside, you can actually see them. They're alternating between north and south. Now, this one doesn't spin very fast because all the magnets are stuck with the tick rate. So it actually spins based on how fast it can alternate between the two magnets in the middle. But you see here, static magnets on the outside and internal magnets. So not as powerful as the motor with the, the moving magnets around the outside. It seems more powerful to do it that way. This one's just kind of cool. So anyways, we're gonna save this big V8 motor. We're actually, you know what, let's make this into a little bit more of a motor first. So let's, let's hook this up. Let's make it into an actual sort of cased in electric motor that we can, you know, then use to hook up to other objects. We'll make it, you know, a, a double magnet electric motor. And then that way it seems like it'll be worth our time to actually use this for stuff. And then we'll make a hole in it and we'll actually kind of seal the whole mechanism. So we'll put another electric magnet here, another one here. So this one's south, this one's north. There we go. Okay, so they're both like that. We'll actually put a logic gate on this motor. We'll put a logic gate here. I really wanted to make an electric motor as soon as I heard about magnets. And I know people are saying, you know, make a spud motor. And if you guys still want me to try making a spud gun motor, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'll gladly do that one too. But with the magnet mod, I just had to make an actual motor. All right, so we've got a ring of magnets here. They all have to be set to north, just like this. And then we'll do another ring of magnets. This way it's a dual layered device. Again, all these set to north really cool this uh magnet block i'm really a big fan and then we just connect these up to the sensors on the appropriate section and they're all just attached to the sensors that are on the outside and then we'll seal the rest of this and we'll put the axle the drive axle coming out and then we should have a functioning electric motor which will be sweet which will we'll need to hook it up on the modded wheels obviously it's a uh, relatively large this is our electric motor, and we'll paint the whole thing just uh, a nice flat black color. All right, so this should be a functioning electric motor here. We'll see what this does, how much power... You know what, we gotta, we're gonna have to weld this to something. Let's just weld it to the ground here, just like this. Okay, and we'll put a bunch of wheels on it and see how uh, fast it actually spins. Now, this is only gonna be a one-directional motor. It won't be able to switch directions. It's always gonna rotate in the same direction because of the way that the distributor on the inside is shaped which is kind of a pain, actually. We'd have to make one that flips directions. So we should probably probably do that. But anyways, that is extremely fast. That is that is a really fast... Holy cow, that's fast. How fast is this? That is insane. That's like real motor speed, and it's super quiet, too. All right, well, you know what? Let's just let's just hook this up. Okay, so which... Uh, yeah, it needs, it needs weight. It needs weight on the axle, for sure. All right, so we've opened the motor up here just so we can see what's happening. Uh, we're just going to shut that off. Now, it's rotating to the right here, or to the left, sorry. It's rotating in a counterclockwise direction, and I believe this one rotates clockwise. It does. Okay, so all we need to do is attach this motor up to that motor, and uh, 
weld them up and see which one has a more powerful drive. So we've got the suspension piece going through just to allow this to spin. So you can see the magnets, even though they're they're unpowered, so they don't actually do anything. Now the magnets on the outside are still activating because they're just straight off the sensors. Uh, but because the magnets on the inside aren't powered right now, it's just free spinning in that direction. So it's spinning in the direction of the piston powered motor. Uh, so let's see, we're going to turn on the magnets here. First of all, we're going to get a, we're going to put a seat down so we can get a better view just in case. All right, so here we go. So we're going to put a seat down here. So we're going to turn on the magnets and if the magnets are more powerful, they should reverse the pistons. I think the pistons are going to win just because they're actually like attached through, you know what I mean? Like they're attached to the object, but we'll see here. And at three, two, one. Really nothing. The magnets just aren't powerful enough, even with... Two sets of magnets is just not powerful enough to overcome the physical pistons. So let's just see. See, if we turn it off, they do push backwards, but... Okay, and it actually can reverse the flow of the piston engine. That's kind of cool. You know what? Let's try turning them on at the same time. And seeing... I bet you it's just going to go in the direction of the magnets. I bet you the magnets are just going to kickstart the piston engine in that direction. All right. Three, two, one. Nope. The piston engine still wins it. Wow. So the physical piston engine is definitely much more powerful than the magnet engine. All right, so before we go, I wanna hook up some of these magnet motors to a car. Now, I haven't made a reversible magnet motor yet. I think if you guys want me to, I will work on a magnet motor sometime and make a reversible one. We're just gonna take one of these big motors and we're gonna take another big motor and I'll just flip the distributor on the second one Oh, yeah, they repel each other. That would make sense. All right, so I've got the distributors reversed on these two motors, and I put big 19 by 9 wheels from the mod pack. Those are the biggest wheels in this mod pack. Um, I mean, we should maybe use smaller wheels. We could always, of course, make these motors more powerful just by, again, adding more and more magnets in the same pattern. But we'll see. This is a double-stacked motor pattern, so if we turn it on, I mean, it spins it up. It gets it spinning pretty quickly. I don't know how it's going to do once we put weight on the vehicle. Of course, we have no reverse, but you can see there, that one's spinning uh, forward in like this uh, counterclockwise direction. And if we turn on this one, it is also spinning in that same direction. Of course, opposite. So we do have a left and right motor now. I will make, of course, a reversible motor at some point in time. But really simply, we're just going to mount a seat here. And we're going to put uh, both the motors on a single switch. And then we'll put some steering on the front and, uh, you know, see if we can get this thing to work. I don't want to put big wheels with the steering because big wheels, you know, it's just going to cause problems trying to turn with the amount of, uh, you know, weight that it has to turn. We'd have to build a pretty, pretty beefy steering system if we wanted to make something that would turn. So instead, we're just going to put a really dinky steering system on it instead and just use really small wheels on the front. Because, I mean, why not? It doesn't really matter if it leans forward, it's just going to be the world's craziest dragster. The Magnet Mod, again, is another fantastic mod made by uh, Technologic Nick. So make sure you, of course, show him some love and uh, check it out on the workshop if you have Scrap Mechanic. But another really, really cool mod. I'm really excited about it. And, uh, of course, I did have to make. This was the one thing that I thought, you know, with the Magnet Mod, we have to try and make real motors. But if you guys want, let me know in the comments down below. And I will try and make a better motor. I know by the time I upload this, there's going to be like 50 people who have gone and made themselves electric motors already and then reversible ones it isn't very difficult to make a reversible one again you just have to change the distributor cap or you have two distributors and two sets of sensors and you just flip which set of sensors you're using to flip the motor direction so it's really not terribly difficult i am going to make a reversible motor at some point in time but for this video i really just wanted to test it out and see if it was actually possible to make a magnet powered motor, which it seems like it is. All right, so here we go. We've got the super electric motor dragster. We've got two magnet powered motors. We've got steering on the front and these massive back wheels. Uh, I mean, there's one of two things that's gonna happen. Either A, we're gonna power the wheels or B, we're gonna flip the whole creation over. So here we go in three, two, one. Oh my God, it's working. We are moving. The question is how fast will we eventually move? Will it, will it, it's picking up speed. All right, we're doing pretty good here. This is awesome. It's of course super quiet. It's like a piston engine, really. It's about I think I've made a piston engine with like 16 pistons that goes about the same speed as this. Can we actually are we gonna pick up speed though? Or is this or is it just crawling? I feel like we can't pick up speed. It, you know, once you put the weight on the wheels, this seems to be our, our max speed here. I mean it's not bad. It's definitely definitely working. And of course, we could just make a much more powerful electric motor. Um 
Yeah, you know what? Let's just add more magnets to it real quick and just make a much more powerful motor. That seems like the, the way to do this. All right, so here we go. I've doubled up the number of magnets in each motor. It is now four magnets per section, eight rings total. So this would be like uh, an eight turn motor, I think, or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure what the terminology is, but regardless, this motor has a ton of magnets in it. So we should have, I guess, double the power that we had before. I'm not really sure if that's how they stack, but regardless, in three, two, one, let's go. Oh my god, the lag. Oh my god, it's so powerful. Oh boy. Oh, it's it's too much. It's too much. It, okay, we're okay. We're oh boy. Oh, it lags so much. Oh god. Oh god. It's not the game is not meant to have this many magnets. Oh, we're probably gonna crash. It's just a little bit too many magnets here. It's uh, it wheelies the whole front of the vehicle. So you know what? This is what we'll do. We'll just put some thrusters on the front, and that way we can turn the thrusters on and keep the front pinned down. And uh, really see how fast these magnets can push us forward. The magnets seem to just flip us there. So here we go. We're going to put thrusters. Put the thrusters on this switch here. Number two. That should be powerful enough. So here we go. Two. And uh, it'll push us backwards a bit. Not a big deal. And here we go. Oh my. It lags so much. Man, those magnets are powerful. The holy cow. That's pushing like big wheels as if they were normal wheels. I mean, we're still definitely slower. It's definitely laggy though. It's weird. I think it's because the script has to run so many times. Obviously when I make an actual electric motor that's reversible to put on the workshop, I, I don't think I'm going to make one uh, that uses, you know, magnets, this, this many magnets. I think I'll make one a little bit smaller, but let's see how much speed we can get here. Let's see if we can go off. Actually, oh my goodness, look at that. It just like spins the wheels. They're just spinning. You know what? Oh boy, yeah. Now see, it really lifts up the front end with those magnets. All right, here we go. And jump. Oh my God, the torque. It's so bad. Oh, it's oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make it. There, we'll, we'll turn that up. Oh boy, yeah. If you do want me to make a reversible electric motor to put on the workshop, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.